Assalamualaikum, nama saya Zubaidah binti Malian. Uh, saya uh, founder of Rumah Makan Minang. Uh, ini bos saya. Eh, no. You don't. Eh, 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 saya aku cakap bos macam tu. Alamak, you just don't. I'm, I'm a founder and you're a boss. Salah, <laughs> salah. Hi, I'm Azmi. I'm the second gen of Rumah Makan Minang. And this is my mum. Uh, the founder of Rumah Makan Minang. Ya, Ma? Yes. Hello. So, my dad. Uh... My father. <laughs> Ma? My, my, uh, my lover. <laughs> Di sini, Rumah Makan Minang, kami menjadikan nasi padang. Mempunyai 40-50 macam lauk. Sambal lari hijau, ikan bakar dan air bakar padang. Spesi rendang yang paling famous lah di kedai saya. My mum, her main priority is customer. If she's at a shop, right, she'll make the customer feels like home. Oh, dah makan makan. Yeah, okay lah, good lah. It's good lah for diabetes. Can clean your urine. Very good lah. Cik nak customer dengan kita macam ada connection lah. Jadi orang datang macam sometimes orang datang untuk makan, then sometimes orang datang untuk tengok cik lah. So my grandma actually start the business along the street during the 1950s, and my mum start to have her own in 1980s. Over here at our restaurant, we are serving Minang Kabau cuisine. Minang Kabau cuisine originate from Padang in Indonesia. So that is where my grandma originate from. I was born in Arab Street, so the smell of rendang is in my system already. But even though right now there is chef involved and all that, my mom still comes to the kitchen to make sure that the food is cooked in a traditional way. Saya suka makanan kita biar bermutu lah. Kita nak ambil duit orang, habis makanan tak senonoh. Saya ambil duit orang tu macam, macam tak halal gitu. Lebih baik saya kasih orang yang baik. I didn't expect to join the family business at first because I grew up with it. So the interest was not by heart lah, it's by force. Every weekend I have to help. And she always tell me that, just help for a while. The a while lah, until at night. One so, whole day. Huh, one whole day eh? <laughs> Why I joined is because my mom was telling me like, you know, you should help your dad because your dad not strong enough lah. So why not you join to do up this business? Yeah. Later on, my sibling joined the business. That is where I started to go hard lah on doing everything digitalized. At first, they didn't agree. I bought a post system and the post system was just unusable. So I already threw how many calculators I throw. Still got one calculator up here. I don't know where the calculator come from. Saya ni tak setuju lah yang Azmi nak change pakai komputer. Kalau dia pakai picik-picik ni, lagi satu, Cik nak kena belajar. So, suami saya cakap, sudahlah kasih anak-anak sebab lah kita lebih baik uh, rehat dulu lah. So, saya serahkan pada semua Azmi buat lah sampai sekarang ni lah. Over the years, business has grown and we have two outlets and a central kitchen and we are also serving our food in Shangri-La Hotel. Saya selalu berpesan kepada anak-anak saya, kalau boleh jagalah warisan perniagaan daripada nenek dia hingga ke saya kan. Dan saya mengharapkan perniagaan ini lebih baik dan baik seterusnya lah. Without them, we are not where we are right now. My mom and dad are very strong parents, so we always have to follow their footsteps. My mentor, my boss, my parents, my sayang. <laughs> I everything to you lah. Yeah. <laughs>